Right now at five, a family held hostage during a violent robbery right inside their own home. They came here with the intent to, to steal from these people, um, did some horrific things and then left. Prosecutors say a team of criminals plan to steal tens of thousands of dollars. And now three people are charged with taking a family hostage earlier this month, even hitting a child. Kareen Zell has the new details in the five. Stephen Carroll, police say this was a complex investigation. Lots of twists and lots of help from other agencies. They say it's good old fashioned police work that put the suspects behind bars. Now we should warn you, some of these details might be disturbing. A family moves from Saudi Arabia to Wauwatosa and becomes the target of a vicious crime. Police say the suspects have an utter disregard for human life. The fact that they violently assaulted, gagged, bound and threatened to kill the victims speaks to the disgusting nature of this crime and the character of the suspects. It all started at this day's inn in West Allis, where 36 year old Nicole Copper worked. The family asked her for some assistance. Made reference to and asked for to see if they could use a safe because they had a large sum of money that they wanted to keep safe. Copper told her friends about the money. 36 year old Antoine Hardy and 34 year old Brandon Lane staked out the hotel and watched the family until they left for their new Tosa home. They felt they could take advantage of them. The night of July 12th, police say Hardy and Lane broke in armed with guns. The suspects got physical with five victims. The criminal complaint says they grabbed her by the hair and pushed her against a wall and then the floor, pressed a gun against her neck while she was face down and told her she was going to die. Literally being held hostage in their own home, their faces covered, hearing their family members screaming, a five-year-old child being assaulted, a 62-year-old woman being assaulted. Police found the five-year-old bound, gagged, and laying on the floor unconscious. This is a three-hour ordeal where these people were tied up uh, while this robbery and this false imprisonment took place. The five-year-old child suffered brain bleeds in four locations. Police say physically he is doing okay. Now we've reached out to Days In for a comment, but haven't heard back. Stephen Carroll. That's just horrific. Corrine, thank you very much.